Imagine for a moment a time of swords and shoguns of empires in flux. The year is 1600 and on the shores of Japan a battered English ship washes ashore. Among the survivors is a man named William Adams, an Englishman destined to change the course of history and become the first Western samurai. This is not merely a story of survival, it's a saga of extraordinary transformation. How did an English navigator become a revered warrior in the heart of a foreign land? What secrets lie behind this incredible rise? Over the ages, tales of outsiders forging their place in foreign lands have captivated us. But the saga of William Adams breaks the mold. William Adams wasn't born a samurai. His destiny was forged on turbulent seas. Born to humble beginnings in Gillingham, England, the call of the ocean beckoned him. At the tender age of 12, he was bound as an apprentice to a master shipbuilder, unlocking the secrets of vessels that would conquer the known world. His apprenticeship was no easy path. It was a world of grueling labor, mastering the intricate dance of wind, sail and tide. Yet, Adams thrived. He wasn't just a shipwright, but a sailor, navigating treacherous Arctic routes, even serving his queen against the Spanish Armada. Twelve years at sea hardened him, yet a restless ambition burned within. When opportunity arose to join a Dutch expedition aiming to reach the fabled riches of the East, he seized it. It was a gamble, a chance for wealth but also a venture fraught with peril. Fate, however, delivered a twist even the most seasoned navigator couldn't predict. Shipwrecked and bedraggled on the shores of Japan in 1600, he found himself not on the cusp of riches, but a world away from all he knew. Thrust into a nation steeped in ancient tradition, yet poised on the brink of radical change. Cast ashore in a land of the rising sun, Adams could have met a swift end. Instead, his unique knowledge of ships, navigation and the wider world became a rare currency in the astute eyes of Tokugawa Ieyasu. This was a man on the cusp of seizing control of a fractured Japan, a man who would become shogun, ushering in an era of relative peace after centuries of war. Ieyasu was no mere warlord. He was a visionary with a practical mind, recognizing the potential in this foreigner who could provide a bridge between worlds. Adams, ever the astute survivor, grasped the lifeline offered to him. It was a gamble. Pledge his loyalty to this powerful lord, or risk fading into obscurity or worse. Trust wasn't bestowed upon the foreigner lightly. Adams immersed himself in the Japanese language, the intricacies of their customs, and the essence of Bushido, their warrior code. He wasn't seeking to simply imitate, but to truly understand, to find his place within this new order. This wasn't mere survival, it was a profound and deliberate transformation. His knowledge was put to use. Adams oversaw the construction of Western-style ships, bolstering Ieyasu's naval ambitions. He acted as an invaluable translator and diplomat, easing tensions with other European powers who sought trade with Japan. His advice, shaped by his maritime experience and outsider's perspective, was sought on matters of international relations. The further he ascended, the more precarious his position became. Envy and suspicion were never far behind. Yet the rewards were undeniable. William Adams, the Englishman, was reborn as Mura Anjin, samurai, trusted retainer, a man granted lands, swords and a status unheard of for a foreigner. He became a bridge between cultures not through conquest, but through knowledge and diplomacy. His legacy resonates. He helped influence Japan's rise as a more unified and internationally engaged power, leaving an enduring mark on the nation he adopted. The tale of William Adams' Miura Anjin is more than a historical anecdote. It speaks to themes that resonate across centuries. His story is one of adaptation of finding opportunity amidst the unknown of the potential for understanding to transcend cultural barriers. Adams helped Japan take its first tentative steps towards expanded trade and a broader role on the world stage. His legacy is woven into the very fabric of a nation that prizes both innovation and respect for tradition. Even today his name is remembered. There's a town that bears his name, festivals held in his honor. The story of the Western Samurai invites us to question our assumptions about belonging and identity. 
It asks, can we forge new paths without losing ourselves? Can the outsider truly find a place of honor in a world not of their birth? And perhaps most importantly, what bridges can we build when we set aside fear and embrace the potential in the unfamiliar? If you enjoyed learning about William Adams and his incredible story, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations of fascinating figures throughout history.